Extreme frugal tips with real examples from my life. I'm a single Korean male living in Austin, Texas. I started frugal living ever since graduating high school and remain frugal ever since then. Today, my net worth is more than $500,000 and I love my low-key life. I put together every extreme frugal tip I use that gets more and more frugal towards the end. Let's start with career. I started college at 17. I got degrees at the University of Texas at Austin in finance, economics, Economics and minors in math, computer science, and accounting. I got a top 10% scholarship every year, which got me yearly $2,000 in scholarship monies, which reduced my tuition from $10,000 to $8,000 per year. And throughout college, they gave me random $2,500, $5,000, and $1,000 scholarships. So I effectively only paid about $5,000 in tuition every year. I took out no debt to go to college and graduated college with a $40,000 net worth. Ever since I graduated at 21, I started my career in banking, making $52,500 per year. I got promoted after 6 months and increased my pay to $88,000 per year. Then I got promoted again the year after and started making $110,000 per year. And I kept making more than $100,000 every year after that. I worked long hours, was on call 24-7, lots of stress, but I kept increasing my salary whenever I could. I maxed out my 401k and HSA every single year. I always continued to live like a student and live frugally and save whenever I could. Because I'm living frugally on $18,000 per year right now, I'm technically financially independent, but I still want things to do in the day. So I don't see myself retiring early anytime soon or actually ever. Moving on to health. I exercise. I work out every single day at a minimum by walking after I come home from work for free, if not going to the gym for just $10 per month. I eat healthy with all of the required and recommended daily intake of vitamins and nutrients. I don't smoke, I don't drink soda, and I don't drink alcohol anymore. I have medical and dental insurance through work. I used to have vision insurance but I never use it so I canceled it. I have the high deductible health plan and max out my HSA. I have about $35,000 in my HSA. I go to the doctors like maybe once a year, if that. If I do, I use the in-network specialist when I need to, and I have no prescription medications. I get two free dental cleanings every year with my insurance, and I haven't bought new glasses in six years. If I need medication, I just get the generic brands from Walmart. Moving on to food. I spend less than $300 a month on food. I eat out every single day because I do not like to cook food. I just eat Domino's, Subway, or Chipotle every time. And I get my water from Costco. 40 packs of bottled water for just $4. I grocery shop in bulk at Costco or I go to Aldi. The only thing I will spend money on without thinking twice is for ginger tea. It helps me so much with digestion issues and it is delicious. I use my tea bags until there's nothing left. I also don't go to expensive restaurants. If an entree is is over $15, I just do not go to the restaurant. I don't drink alcohol or soda at restaurants. I don't drink coffee or any beverage, even Gatorade, besides my tea and water. I never buy name brand and I always use coupons or search for reduced grocery prices. Instead of throwing away my local grocery store flyers I get in the mail, I look them over for any deals I can find. I combine trips to save money on gas. If I need to go to the grocery store, I drop off my laundry in the laundromat that's on the way to save money on gas. On to housing. I live with a roommate and pay only $800 per month for rent, utilities, internet, electricity, and pest control. I don't turn on the AC throughout the day but rather use the fan that keeps me cool enough during the day. I live in a two-story 1200 square foot apartment and it's the biggest apartment I ever lived in. I don't pay for parking and only pay about $120 per year for rental insurance. The winter is when I pay the most in electricity. If it gets too cold even after I put on a jacket, multiple clothing, and sweatpants, that's when I turn 
turn on the heater. Those months are when my electricity bill can actually go into the $100 per month range but I usually only pay $65 per month. I want to buy a house in the next year but Austin, Texas housing market is one of the toughest housing markets in Texas so I'm not as confident or hopeful I'll be able to. Moving on to household maintenance and repairs. I live in an apartment so there's really no maintenance expenses that I pay. I usually ask my landlord to change out my air conditioner filter maybe once a year because I use the air conditioner so little. And I ask for pest control here and there for ants. I haven't asked them to do any repairs just yet. But for anything light bulb related, I use LED light bulbs and I turn off my lights when I'm not using a room. Bright lights hurt my eyes anyway so I prefer my house to be on the darker side. I got most of my furniture from my friends who were moving out of town. My couch, my loveseat couch, TV, chairs, and nightstands I got from my friends. I don't use the kitchen so there's nothing I need to do there to maintain it. Moving on to cars and transportation. I enjoy a nice and safe car. I drive a 2017 Nissan Versa sedan I bought for $14,000 cash in 2022. It had 80,000 miles on it and it has 95,000 miles right now. I have full insurance coverage and pay $1,500 per year. I pay in full every six months and have my rent insurance with them so I get an even bigger discount. I also use my credit card specifically for insurance and get an extra 3% off. I get my regular oil changes from Jiffy Lube for $50. By the way, if you use Jiffy Lube, an easy way to get 25% off is to go to gcx.raise.com, link in description below if you want five dollars for signing up and i get five dollars if you sign up and i just look up jiffy lube from the website then you use another credit card to get three percent back for online purchases then you use another jiffy lube coupon to get another 10 to 25 percent off your services so anything i buy for a hundred dollars at jiffy lube i really only paid fifty dollars for them and surprisingly they let me use a gift card for the yearly state inspections too so jiffy lube has my business for life I never had to use the mechanic for my car. I maybe have to use a mechanic to replace the battery and the spark plugs in the future, but that's about it. I'm in the process of negotiating a car accident claim with my insurance where I'm pretty sure I will have to sue them. I will keep you guys posted on it. I get my tire rotations from Discount Tire for free and I never needed a fluid top off so far. I don't use the car air conditioner so I rarely need to replace the air filters. I combine errands to just one day every two to three weeks to save on miles. When I need my car washed, I just go to the gas station car washes and pay $8 for a quick five minute car wash. On to internet, TV, and cell phone. I have the most basic internet package available. I don't get my internet from the big box stores like AT&T or Verizon, but I get my internet from a very unknown internet provider where I only pay $25 per month for internet that I split with my roommate. And I use a credit card that gives me 5% cash cashback for internet purchases. The best negotiation tip I can give for internet is to call them and ask what the slowest speed internet they offer is that isn't advertised. I don't have cable but I do use YouTube Premium. I stream TV, movies, and music from YouTube Premium and from my library card for free and I don't have Amazon Prime anymore. I got my iPhone 14 with an interest-free loan for $800 that I will own outright in just four months. I use my credit card to pay that sometimes gives me between 5 to 10% off on my cell phone bill. I pay $40 per month for everything on limited phone plan. The price hasn't increased in 3 years. If they increase the price, I'll just leave to another cell phone company. On to laundry and clothing. I just go to my local laundromat and pay $20 per load for them to do my laundry for me. I don't need to buy any detergents, softeners, or even fold the clothes after. They do it all for me. I haven't bought new clothes in 6 years. I also try to only wash my clothes if they are dirty. For example, I reuse jeans two to three times before I clean them. My wardrobe is filled with five boxes of clothes that I never wear. That was money at one point. I only buy one pair of nice tennis shoes every three years or so. I bought these tennis shoes two years ago and they're still going on strong. One $150 shoe that lasts me for three years is worth it to me. On to 
personal care. I shower once a day for 10 minutes, which is comfortable for me and gets me a good wash. Someone else cuts my beard for me, so I don't need to buy shaving cream, razors, or spend time cleaning my beard hair. I also use very thick cleaning towels that is as plush as it can be. I buy my toothpaste in bulk from Costco for $15 that lasts me an entire year. And I have great teeth. I go to the dentist twice a year for cleaning. I buy shampoo and body wash in bulk from Costco for $50 for the entire year. I wait until I get an $8 coupon in the mail for a haircut and I get a haircut then. I buy toilet paper, paper towels, and hand soap in bulk from Costco. I pay $150 per year for them. On to shopping. I don't buy stuff. At this point in my life, I'm trying to throw away stuff and declutter my life. I have 5 boxes of clothes I never wear. I have 3 boxes of unopened stuff that I don't know what to do with. And I have a bookcase full of books that I'm probably just going to donate later on. I buy used whenever I can. Nowadays, I get free ebooks and audiobooks from my library card. If there's one thing that I spend the most money on, it's for my YouTube channel. I bought a $300 teleprompter, $200 microphone, $600 worth of software, and $200 worth of equipment like lighting, not to mention ongoing expenses as well. I'm losing a lot of money with my YouTube channel, but all of your supportive comments are what keeps me going to make more videos for you. On to other final tips. I use cashback credit cards for as much as I can. I estimate my cashback rate to be between 2 to 5% per year, and I pay them off in full every single month. I have paid a couple of dollars of missed interest payments payments for my credit cards here and there, but nothing too big, maybe $5 at the most. I know where to buy the items I use for the best price. Costco is my bread and butter for everything. One thing I will never do is that I never negotiate. If I need to negotiate to buy something, I usually just walk away. It doesn't matter if it's the cheapest I could get the item for, I just walk away because I need to protect and save my time. For example, I had a Wingstop gift card with 62 cents on it, so I ordered $18 worth of Wingstop because I just wanted to get rid of my gift card but I didn't have the physical gift card with me. The Wingstop manager then comes to the counter and starts yelling at me saying because I don't have the physical gift card she won't sell the wings to me unless I pay in full with a credit card. Instead of arguing I just politely and respectfully canceled the order and walked three minutes away to Chipotle and I got a delicious meal from there. I'm at the point in my life where I want to save time more than saving money. Saving money through extreme frugality is good for the environment and our wallets. If you would like one-on-one -on -one money coaching calls with me, I offer one-hour money coaching calls in the description below for just $150. If my video gave you value, smash the like and subscribe button for more free money content and get richer. Thank you for watching. See you next time.